Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Thursday. It just started raining. Um, and I just did my morning work. I am in the process of editing the Beginner's Guide to Selling on eBay and the Beginner's Guide to Self-Publishing on Amazon KDP, the 2025 editions. So I have done the eBay book second draft. There'll be a third draft where I go through and format during... Now I'm starting on the KDP book. So um, what I do is I bring up the 2024 file and I just start at the beginning and we just start editing, changing, adding, taking out, putting in all the things. So what I'm trying to do is do each chapter. So it's basically like the first and the second draft, meaning a lot of time, I don't know if you remember this when you were a kid in school, teachers would be like, just write, don't correct anything. Don't do, do, do. And I find that that just makes the entire editing process a mess. Whereas if you go a little slower, for me at least, if I go a little slower and kind of edit and fix as I go, then I don't have four, five, six drafts. And I don't have a mess. So I just did the introduction for the KDP book that way. So now I'll copy and paste it into Grammarly, get any of the, you know, Grammarly, grammar mistakes, all that. I do want to talk about Grammarly Pro. I know this isn't for everybody, the author stuff, but if you use Grammarly Pro, I am having the worst time getting it to connect to Microsoft Word. It used to, but now it won't. And there's even a whole section on their site. If Grammarly won't connect to your Word, do, 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 do all this. I did it. It still won't do it. It said to do it again. I'm like, no, no. So what I do is I actually just go to Grammarly Pro count the site and I copy and paste the entire chapter in, and it honestly kind of works because then it lets me focus on each chapter. And um, rather than when you do have it in Word and it'll come be like, there's 18 million mistakes here. And you're like, oh my God. Instead, it just takes each chapter. So anyway, that is what I'm doing. <sighs> Still trying to work to get my ancestry journals into hardcover. I think I showed you that in the last vlog. These ancestry journals, which are in paperback, these are under my second pen name. All of my books are linked below. Just go to my Amazon storefront um, and getting these into hardcover. So, so far I've gotten three <laughs> out of the 16. And then there are more books I would want to do in hardcover for the low content. As long as they're long enough, the thing with low content, they have to be um, I think 72 pages to do a hardcover. Anyway, and, and ah, a very buggy Halloween. This is coming out on the 8th, so it'll be out by the time you guys see this video. But this, oh my gosh, I just love it. And of course, it's poor Teddy. Poor Teddy is afraid of Halloween. He's, oh, there's a, boys are like, what's going on? And then mom's putting up a Halloween tree, and Teddy's like, what on earth are you doing? There's poor, oh, look at him. Look at Teddy. Oh, he's like, I don't like this, Mom. I don't like any of it. Oh, no, Mom. No, oh, no, I don't like it. They're like, Mom's putting up more crap. What's going on? Oh, I just love these illustrations. They turned out so well. Look at the little kids. Then the boys are getting their costumes. They're like, what's in this box? Oh, man. Oh, man. And we've got the trick-or-treaters out. I was trying to do, make sure that if there are people in the book, they've got some diversity. I liked, um, you know, a child with special needs there using the wheelchair. And there we are all snuggled up because now we love Halloween. Oh, where'd Teddy go? Oh, Teddy, there you are. Are you behind me, Teddy? Is this your new book? Is this your new book? See, oh, I'm a star. I'm a star, Mom. Are they all going to buy the book, Mom? Say, buy my book, everyone. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, it is time to make the deviled eggs. Of course, some of them have ice on them from being in their fridge. And then, like this one, it adhered to the paper towel and made a mark. Won't use that one. Um, anyway, but my deviled egg recipe is just Miracle Whip and sugar. It's literally all I use. Um, use my food processor, get it all nice and creamy. So this egg, I don't think is usable, but I think the others are, although I won't take all of them. I'll save some back for myself. It's only, let's see, one, two, three, four, six of us tonight. So I am so tired too. Oh my gosh. I am trying, I'm at 530. So I got three hours to get some energy here because I am just, I am, I am so tired. I don't know why. I do 
terrible night to have to go do something, but hopefully I can get some energy going. I make my own piping bag by just putting a, like a sandwich bag around a cup, putting the filling in, and then I'll just snip off a tip and pipe it in there. And just use a little paprika just for decoration. There you go. I think I showed this in my last vlog, just this little sign I'm gonna take to Annie, the old neighbor we're going to visit. And old, not that she's old, she lived here before and she doesn't live here anymore. Anyway, um, cause she's like, she's, she's very sassy. So I thought this was a funny little thing to take to her, just a little sign she can put up in her apartment. All right, in my office, I am on eBay and I've ended, I had ended all of my eBay listings and now I'm going through each one and deciding, do I want to relist it on eBay? And if I do, I'm setting my best price with free shipping because I just, you know, again, with just figuring out exactly what works best for me, the list it and forget it, I like that. Now, does eBay, is eBay needy and want you on there every day? Yes. But does this also work if you're just, you know, doing it as a hobby or you have a huge store and you're consistently listing new items? Yes. So best price with free shipping. I've been getting five more up a day and some of the items I have been pulling to either take to the consignment store or down to my booth. So just got my five up and I've made my eggs. I got the little gift bag ready. I've done my chapter for the day. I worked on Amazon ads, meaning I just checked them and did YouTube comments, checked Facebook pages so yeah work wise I'm good for the day but I'm just kind of like I feel like I should do something but Charlie wants me to sit back down do you hear him barking he's very bossy I'm coming Charlie well hello it's Friday now it's the next day and I decided I need to get out of the house today I have a little list for Sam's I'm gonna go into Sam's then I got to Sam's I'm like it's Friday it's payday everybody's here <laughs> We're still gonna go in. It's fine. I'm gonna do it. Anyway, last night went to the dinner at the um, neighbor's house who moved to the retirement community. That place, I was like, oh my gosh, how soon can I move in? So what it is, is it's a um, life care facility. So you pay a lump sum up front and then you pay a monthly rent, which I know sounds like, oh my God, it's so expensive, but then it's life care. So she's in the um, independent living, just a beautiful apartment and, you know, that could be anywhere. When the time comes, if she needs it, she can move to the assisted living side. And if the time comes, she needs it, she can go to the nursing care, memory care side. You're in, you're in. Um, even if the cost for the care go up $3,000, that doesn't change. I don't think, I, I don't think it does. And if you run out of money, I don't think they can kick you out because you bought into it. So I was like, dang, when can I move in? Because for people who are single, no children, or like she's a widow and her son lives out of state and she's very rooted here. So she didn't want to move and go live, you know, near him. This is perfect because she's completely taken care of, safe, all her needs are going to be met and she doesn't have to worry about anything. You know, she had the money to do the buy-in, to do the monthly. Um, so, you know, it, yeah. So the 3000 a month, takes care of absolutely everything in the apartment, all the utilities, water, all of that stuff. And then if you want food from them, you can pay a la carte. Um, get weekly housekeeping, underground heated parking, some storage. I mean, it's lots of amenities. Um, but like she hasn't, the only time she eats there is if there's some other people on the floor that maybe she'll go and, and eat with and then they'll just pay a la carte. They have like a restaurant there. Although she did show us a letter they just sent around that they have lost almost their entire dining staff in the last month. It was like 15 people and a couple of them moved. A couple of them took other jobs, but the, uh, the bulk of it was either the pay was too low or five of them quit specifically because the residents were so mean to them. You know, sometimes those older people aren't so great. I mean, in the memory care you know, assisted or in the memory care unit, if you know, Alzheimer's and dementia, they can get, right. but this wasn't, this was just the, you know, main resident area, the independent living where people were so bad to them that they couldn't take it anymore. My, and the woman we were visiting said her mom was like that. Her mom was just mean. Her mom was just a mean lady. And when she was growing up, she was mean and she got older and she was mean. And when she was then taking care of her mom, 
and taking her places. Her mom would be mean to the staff. And she finally put her foot down and said, no more. No, you cannot be as like, who are you to tell me what to do? And she's like, well, when we, when I was a kid, you told me what to do. So I'm telling you what to do now. And you cannot behave this way. You have to apologize and you cannot treat people this way. So it's like, dang. So, but can you imagine that being treated so badly by the residents in the independent living place too? Not the assisted living or the nursing home part, but like, dang. Anyway, but I thought it was so interesting. It's Friendship Village, if you are familiar with the area. Um, one of the ladies that went with us, she's close in age to the woman we visited and she's got a lot of health problems and she went up and asked for the folder and the brochure. I mean, that'd be perfect for her. I think, you know, people who, who can afford it, <clears throat> obviously with the buy-in, although there is financing too for the buy-in. So yeah, just, you know, most nursing homes you go to, you pay month to month and when you can't pay, you're out. And if you have to go on Medicaid, they pretty much tell you where you're going to go. Okay, we have an opening here. There's where you're going to go. And if you don't have someone to advocate for you, you don't have kids, family that will help you, then you're just like at the mercy of the system. So it's definitely um, a great deal. But like I was thinking, you know, for my dad, I had always thought, God, I wish we could move to a facility like that, but I would have had to go with him. But he would have had resources, but I'm not 55 and older. And we... Well, like if I were to have put, he couldn't have moved into a place like that on his own because he didn't make enough money. He didn't have $200,000 to put down. He didn't make $3,000 a month. Um, if we'd gone someplace together, and that's what a lot of, you know, couples will do, married couples, if one is really not doing well, they might move to a facility like that together. But for me being a daughter and, um, you know, him needing the care, not me, like together we could have gone to someplace like that if I would have been old enough, but just him on his own, it wouldn't have been an option. Nursing home care wasn't an option because he made too much money to qualify, qualify for Medicaid. So anyway, as you're getting older, it's just good to always think about these things and know what your options are. But with that, now we shall go into Sam's Club, which I have not been inside for quite a while. And I'm really hoping that the frozen Pepsi icy machine is working today. So I can get a frozen, proper frozen Pepsi. The big mums are out. I need to get my front landscaped. I wanna save up for that and do that next year because it is a disaster and I do not have a green thumb. I do not know what to do. Papa pulled all the bushes and everything out of the front of my house. <laughs> when he was out, you know, doing stuff. Like when first moved in, he took apart this whole thing that was in the front of the house, landscaped, and he just, I don't know why he did that, but he did, and now it looks terrible. But hopefully next year I can save up for that and do that, because it needs it. This is Halloween, oh my gosh. I don't know why these sell in Iowa, because they would just blow over. It's so windy here. Oh, they got the big spider, that's cool candy dishes. I have so many decorations. I do not need any Halloween or Christmas decor, but it's always fun to look at. These are out every year. Look how much, 189. See, in Iowa, it just, it's so windy. We could get snow in October or November, December. Obviously you could get snow. But you know, like this type of thing, it would just blow away in the wind. That's very pretty though. Look at that. And the big jingle bells, those are cool. Do you get a two pack? Is it a two pack of jingle bells? Yep, 99, 94. Gold or red. And then the big snowman is back. Have any of you guys had their cheese tortellini? I love tortellini. I just hate to spend $10 on tortellini that I might not love. So if you've had that, Please let me know. Here's a look at the cart so far, rotisserie chicken. This chicken salad is really good. I used to get it for my dad and even I liked it. So I'm getting some of that. Another parm cheese block to shred. This big bag of Hawaiian brown berry rolls. I'll have to freeze some. Eggs and cream cheese. And now I'm in the area where I need the miracle. Trick or treat. You're getting a veggie chip with sea salt on it. Yay. <laughs> Sam's Club has been switching out the name brand stuff for their own members, Mark. Like, this used to be the Smart Food. Um, and now it's theirs. Probably the same thing from the same factory. 
like air puffcorn cinnamon bun flavor. Well, that's interesting. Or pita chips, or no, veggie puffs with pizza. I can't read apparently today. Can't read today, that's okay. Boom chicka kettle corn and the crit critters. Cheese and caramel, that's so good. Getting into the Halloween candy aisle. Oh, have the, they have this in the Halloween candy aisle. <laughs> oh, they got the pumpkins out. How much are they? $12.98. Every year they go up. But they're so good. They're the best ones, the pumpkins. There's a woman with a scooter with a little dog on a leash, and she's throwing pieces of pizza on the floor for her to eat. I just don't even have the words. <laughs> don't even have the words for that. Oh, it's so fun to look at the toys. Sophie has so many <laughs> princess dolls now. Look at this. That is cute. 50 set, $59.77. Farmhouse dollhouse. All wood? Or is it like, looks like wood, but it's a more durable material? But the things are already on the walls and stuff. That's great. It folds up. How cute. I have this littlest pet shop for $34.87. I don't know that Sophie is into that yet. Or she even knows what it is. She really likes, she likes the Disney princesses. She likes cars, just like race cars. She likes Barbie. I was wondering if they just take this stuff out at the end of the year, put it in the back and then bring it out again at Christmas. I never see anybody buying these tins. <laughs> It's like they've been here since 1986. I'm sure not. I'm sure they're new, but you kind of start to wonder. <gasps> Score a treat. What are these? That'd be good for Sawyer for his birthday. Halloween exclusive parallel. Hmm. I've got him one thing for his birthday so far. He's going to get a gift card. I think I'll get him this too. $30. I spent a lot on Sophie. So, you know, you got to spend equal amounts. Back in the car. The Pepsi IC machine was in defrost. So typical. I don't know why it always is in defrost. I think one out of 10 times that I come here to try to get an IC, it'll be up. Otherwise, nope, that one's in defrost, but we have blue and cherry. I'm like, no, I'm the Pepsi. But I did get my pretzel. I just got it plain, no salt, no butter. I go home and I put a little bit of my own butter and Parmesan cheese on it. Of quite delicious. Anyway, now I said I hadn't been in Sam's Club in a while. So I was just scanned. The scan and go scanned me. Like they got me. I mean, it was just, I had my scan and go and then you pay and then it gives you this uh, QR code on your phone. So I'm walking through and the lady looks like, gotcha. I was like, cause of the, they have these new arches that scan the scan and go. The technology. See, I could open my own store this way if I didn't have to be there. It just scans and goes the customer. <laughs> like I'm opening up an antique store. I'm never gonna be there. They'll scan and go you. Oh my gosh, I kind of love that. So it must look at your cart and count too. I don't know, because normally that's what they do. They scan it and then they like looking at the items. So it must do that as well. But yeah, if you go to Sam's, they have these big blue arches by the chat or by the door. Um, that is what it is. It is scanning you as you scan and go and then you can just go i love it and ending the day and the week with a nice ebay sale i put up this lot of um christmas ephemera for 99.99 and that's what it sold for i did have free shipping on it so of course i will pay the shipping out of that but i will take um things out and put them into other poly bags to keep them protected during shipment but i love putting these lots together um just so much fun stuff in here so yay to the winner or to the buyer it wasn't auction it was a buy it now but i need to wrap it up better to make sure everything's protected um because you know if your box gets wet during shipment and you have paper inside then that could get wet and then the customer would not be happy no they wouldn't thank you so much for watching today's video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and check out the links under the video. The very first link will take you to my Amazon storefront. There you will find all of my books and recommended products. I've written numerous books about how to make money online on sites such as eBay, Etsy, Amazon, and YouTube. So if you're interested in learning how to make money the same way I do, be sure to check those out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.